Hey, what's up, guys? This is part three of my Fat Bass remix. It's been pretty fun, and I want to continue on adding some stuff, taking away some stuff, EQing, compression, and uh, generally just yeah, in enjoying myself and trying to be entertaining and educational. So this is a you know basic kind of track here. Um, I used a lot of I sampled a lot of the original track as source material and kind of turned it into um, what we hear right now. And I don't know if this fits anywhere, but for me, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. It's more of a stripped down, techno -y sort of thing that switches gears. It has a, a long kind of breakdown. And I want to add to, uh, I want to make it more, I guess, interesting. Um, so let's uh, get to that. So um, really kind of, yeah, my organization isn't that great. I really should move that out of here um, because it's really not an effect. It's part of the the, the kick and bass and the, the Atmos kind of thing. But I'll just leave it like so. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll just add that to the, the atmospherics because that's... Where it lives really and yeah hmm what i should do oops no i don't want to return track go away what i want to do is i want to add in some snares now snares are fun because they will spice things up you want to spice things up keep things spicy and yeah do here no i don't want that i want just snares not claps and snares Like that's cool because that's you know not process. It's a good little uh, nod and uh, contrast to what's going on here. So I'll just drag that in as a uh, sampler. There it is. And yeah, I just have that one shot. Maybe something like that. Or something. that sound like in uh, this kind of context here? No, I don't want that as a fill, actually. actually doesn't quite fit.
explain what I'm doing. Um, adding kind of, uh, I guess, ear candy and um, things, uh, some spiciness. I think I've already explained that, but I'm going to add some spiciness in the form of uh, just little ideas here and uh, group them all up and then put them into a, an atmospheric space with a reverb. Something like so. Right, to kind of talk to uh, everything there. So something like that. Just ideas. I might toss them out. I don't know. Sounds pretty cool. No. Here we in again. I think we're in G, right? Right. Pretty sure we are. Oh my god. G sharp, yeah. So G sharp. She got these. These are some really good atmospheres here. We're already using that. A little too intense. Okay, I'll do that. First. kind of eyeball it or earball no <laughs> where uh, where things are going to be that's all going to sound pretty cool just in the background sort of thing, right?
Might be a little too uh, spheric there. That's cool. I want you to stop and listen. What's that one? Yeah, I'll just transpose that up so now it's G sharp. That's cool sounding. Pretty, uh, it's kind of, well, it's not random, but it's. I want you to stop. Let's get those into group and affect them in some way. Oh, go away. There you go. And I would like this compressor, this one. So this would be X, nope, at most effects. It's that one. See how they're kind of talking to each other, right? I'll just have this at the end. It's 
cool because it's like breathing and stuff. All right, let's uh, what else do we need? Maybe crashes. So yeah, typically I put crashes top here. Maybe you don't need to crash there. Just to try it out. effect on the uh, 303 lead in these parts. Some sort of distortion maybe. I can toggle on and off. <laughs>
just wants to breathe.
actually has a potential to sound pretty cool. that kind of actually no let's do you know what let's not get too crazy here
Cool. We did it. All right. That might not work. Yeah, that sounds too sounds too sampley for me. What else do we got? I think that's uh Peace. Yeah, I think I'm effectively done sampling that, so I'll just get rid of that. Cool. All right, I'm going to do a... It's not really that crazy of a technique. I don't even a technique, it's just a an organizational um thing. I'm gonna do that. Alright. Just kind of color code things. Right. 
in the form of, uh, I guess, like dummy uh, MIDI clips. So I don't get confused. is going on here all right so instead of going in there I'm gonna get pro q3 Really good uh, EQ. I'm just gonna leave that. The uh, symbols, the rides in particular. just to put them in a space. Now, let's get uh, this in here. It's before bus, right? Wait, no, I already have a compressor. And I want some multiband going on. I actually don't want the low end touched. I tend to overdo that. Expanding. Okay, 
need another EQ. This is more for kind of figuring out what things are. And we don't want that side material in. A little bit in there. Oh wait, no, I can have this from stereo. touch that because I guess that's what I'm going to build around and it's easy to kind of overdo it right part of its charm is it's 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 just so um affected right like you can see like it was uh, sampled and then pitched down like originally. Right, so I just kind of wanted to rule that off. of it doesn't want to be like pumping that's for sure that is for sure because right, it's the I'm going for the contrast. This is like heavy in the middle. And this is like kind of wide. I'm going to accentuate that um momentarily once I get a decent thing going on here. Now let's get together. That already just sounds pretty good in my opinion. Take a look at uh, what we got going on here in terms of 
Mid side. Gentle roll off. So there's not a whole lot of competing. Maybe even, yeah, gentle. Like this uh, 6 dB per octave um, filter is really good. A lot of high end there, don't you think? Yeah, not anymore. Right, and those those effects just kind of pop through now. Yeah, I really like these uh, filters, best filters ever. vocals here All right, so this is really cool because this has like the two um, pitch shifting effects here I want I want I want I want I want you love that and part with three I want you I'll add a shelf here, which is a little more natural for voice. Tiny bit, but. So that. Uh, I like how there's just so much low end in there. Cool.
Yeah, what if I did that? Just to spice it up. That's cool. I put a crash there. Sounds cool. I should be a little bit more, I guess, descriptive. Right, this is just a kind of a small accent. This is where that uh, 6 dB per octave uh, filter comes in handy. Um, it just sounds really good on, um, well, it, for white noise, white noise can be a little bit dangerous um, because it tends to cause uh, inner sample peaks. So, you know, especially at the higher frequencies. So yeah, this gentle roll off works wonders for that. Just hits really hard in a in a good way. Cool. Yeah, let's uh move on. Yeah, that's already been cute and such. Just for insurance. Benefit is, yeah, I mixed as I went. Okay. And what I can do now is I can, let's see. I can group all these tracks. Uh, yeah, I can just go master track. And I can do some things in this, like 
add some Pro R. And I can kind of pretend that it's at a, a freaking huge warehouse. <laughs> so it's like uh, what it sounds like when it's in a club. Right, it's just a, a, a way to kind of get your jollies, get your jollies off, rock your jolly. I'm not sure how to say that, um, but it's it's a way to kind of be like, hey, sounds cool. But that's not what we're doing. We are. We're getting some uh, master effects, and this is where this MIDI comes in, so I can always kind of know what I'm doing. Right now I can zoom in. Right, and this adds a lot of candy. And it's good for, yeah, it's good for, you know, having things the beginning or the end. Right, so you can have that contrast there. Only slightly. You know what I mean? Because like less is more. Right? Come on, dude. When I say come on, dude, I'm I'm like telling my hands to do something. They don't work that well. Here we can add, uh, you know, overall effects, which is kind of what we're doing. If I can remember what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to add sound toys and I want Echo Boy. Echo Boy is pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, that Pro Q's are there. Or Pro R I have in the lane there. like that, that, not there, okay. It's just these subtle little things. 
effects uh, together, like less is more. are yeah just master effects i've already said that how many times am i gonna say that um let's see where we're at oh no 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 that's not it save um, 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 um. it's insight that's what i'm into So what I'm looking at, maybe, is a correlation, which, you know, we're directly down the middle here. And this is fine because this is the breakdown. Disregard the warnings. All right, and just for fun, let's see if it sounds like mono. Yeah, not too bad. All right. Okay. This track is this track is pretty done. I always reserve the right to go back and change it, but uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it right now. So I'm going to, I guess, complete it right now. And you know, you know, you're you're never really finished, but. I think I think we're gonna be uh, finished. So what I'll do is I'll just I'll just kind of go through it briefly, and then I'm gonna get to I guess the the mastering part. I can tell that's a little bit too loud for me. Um, gonna use classic, classic boys.
there. Oh, you son of a... Okay. Okay. Not not that big of a deal. Good thing I kind of caught that. I was like, why is it sounding weird? Um, yeah, these fades are just... Yeah, they do the thing. I think I forgot. Or I cut them up and... You want your fades to be like so. Try to find one. Yeah, you want your fades to be like that. So you get your, your kick happening right there. Where it needs to be or else the kick is, just loses its uh, transient. I hope you guys found this enjoyable. There's going to be a couple more. I have a lot of in-progress ones. This is the one that I think I'm going to be done first. that. Oops, not that way. I'll get it. What? with that. Not too bad. as well does it quite nicely Just looking at it my mind's eye I think I can do it a little bit more here oh, micro Thank you. 
No. Oh. Almost deleted that. Don't want to do that. Alright, let's do some stuff to the master now. It's exciting. the bass. Usually I have way too much bass in these kind of tracks, so... Gonna hear things uh, separated into its uh, constituent bands. listening for. Six, six, six. 
good. Well, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. Um. That base is going to get boosted when I start limiting, so I'm just kind of planning ahead here. Oh, you know what? So maybe maybe I can get a little, I don't know, experimental. This chain right here is to prepare it for the uh, tape machine here. bunch of low end. Which is okay. Let's try a mix rack. Doot, doot, doot. And more dynamics. FG stress. Literally my first time using this, so. Save that for a different day. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to drop in this.
compressor and then a limiter and then I think we're good. Oh, I'll check out a preset. values. No, I don't even think I need that. Okay, so where are we here? So here's the fun part. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a right around negative eight, which is where I kind of like to be. In, in terms of uh, it's RMS. More so because it is pretty, the correlation is pretty, uh, pretty good. But, um, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna try a different style.
Joseph. Safe? It's controlled when it's on save. Yeah, I like to have it around negative eight. Anyway, holy crap! It looks like uh, we're done for now. Who knows? But um, yeah, that is. Uh, that is that. It's pretty fun. Um, and I want to do more of these. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned stuff. Um, take care and have a good one.